Oh, uh, by the way, Devault, you see off in the distance the kobolds, like, scattering around, and they run off a little bit while they kind of, like, keep looking, and they're gathering themselves and um, get, getting ready to attack, it looks like, for the moment. There's more coming! And I'll attack on, uh... Ooh, that's a hit. Right there. You, uh... His body emulates on fire. <sighs> There we go. Oh, I guess he was already kind of pretty well beat up from... Uh, oh, yeah. Nine points. Yeah. <laughs> he, his body burns burns up. <sighs> Casalt. I'm just stupid. Uh, I'm just going <laughs> to <Fire effect>. run <laughs> every time. I'm going to run to get down here to this guy, and right. I can't attack. Yeah. Him. All right. Brome. Guy's now harder to hit. Okay, there you go. Um, con save on him. Con save. That's a fail. Three points of damage. All right. All right, it's his turn. Hell, Tiamat! You killed my brother. Prepare to die. <laughs> I am Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, as he flourishes his uh, scimitar. Nope. 15. Does not hit you, I assume. Casalt? Shrugs it off. Nope. Oh, right. Shrugs it off. Ser Seren Toll. Tol. Alright. Just kind of smoke. Uh, in the in between the two of you right now, with this fire going right. on, uh, he has half cover right now. So there you go. Wah, wah, wah. The vault. So much for charging oh. on that one. It was because I had to make the bend. Yeah. With one Just left. Third edition style. One Charges left. Half fire against them. You do have advantage, just in case you want to try that for that critical. Uh, oh. Because yeah. they are there. You are the third person attacking this guy. No crit. All right. So just four damage. Four damage. Four damage. It still looked great as I did it though. Casalt. <laughs> You'll see a brother soon. Back. Twelve. 17th. Oh yeah, it is advantage. advantage. It is advantage. That is a hit. Okay. Twelve Holy. slashing damage. And I just take his head you, off. You his head flies Wait. off. Damn it! We were gonna keep one alive. <laughs> you thought that as soon as the, your axe struck his head, <laughs> you're like, "Oh wait, no! All too late." It's like this is gonna be awesome. Wasn't there something I was supposed to do? <laughs> oh shit! That's right. Fuck. Uh, oh well. All right, and. You see the kobolds, uh, the vault start charging over there, and then they see the last human um, get taken down. They turn and look at each other, and they all scatter, and they run for the hills. That counts as defeating fifty kobolds. Experience, please. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't fifty. There was uh, there was eight. Eight, please. <laughs> um, search the dead. Try and find their stuff. Yeah. yeah. What kind um, of armor are they wearing? <laughs> um, Make a little bit of a, a leather hat. Glad we, we did go with my plan. Leather armor. Leather. All right, I'm going to take a leather leather armor. And just. All right, you take a leather armor. You find one that fits you. It was Kerr. It was Kerr's? Okay. Yeah. All right, you also find uh, uh, some different looking robes. Um, one's like all red robe. You find another all red robe, and then an all white robe, and then you find a black robe. I get the black robe. I'll take the red. Red red's always been a good color on me. Okay. There's a there's a white and a red left. Uh, I'm wearing the white one. I feel like I'm cool walking around with a quarter staff like Gandalf. All right. Yeah. There you go. Uh, there's one red cloak left. All right. All right. Red robe achieved. There you go. 
And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Cool. Um, I was just going to remind these guys about the taking the West Pass to cut off the rest of their group. Uh, might be a good idea. Right, you go around is what you're trying to say, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we better get a move on. Some of those kobolds may already be heading there to try and... Running, yeah. Let's, um... Let's dress up. Oh, God. So, as a druid, I have, like, an inherent knowledge of the land around me, right? I think I read that in there. You think you read it, or you know? I'm reading it right now. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> if not, I can make a nature check. Yeah, you can make truck. a nature check, absolutely. Go off advantage on the roll. Cool. Like, you know that um, the rear guard was just a little bit more down the road. Um, if you wanted to keep following the, the foot tracks, right? Um, mm -hmm. But you would, in order to navigate successfully to get back on the trail after the rear guard, you would need to make another successful nature check. Okay. Yeah. So do, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to just go after the rear guard or? Uh, I, I guess we should. Um, you know what? And Make uh, fighters. Anyone who has served, actually, anyone who has served in the military as like a background or anything like that, make a wisdom check. I guess that's me. Yeah, that's just you. With advantage. Oh. Booyah! You know. I know shit. You know that uh, rear guards are typically left behind um, to face down any oncoming threat. And to harass that oncoming threat if it is too large for them to handle. Um, and at the end of the day, basically at the end of their assignment, uh, assignment, they are no supposed to report back to wherever encampments are. At least that's how you remember rear guards acting. Like um, okay. that they usually need to ch check in after their assignment is up. So we kill them and take their place. Then we wouldn't know where to meet up. What we need to do is we need to either use these robes to infiltrate the rear guard or to simply be able to follow them to their eventual meeting location so we can complete our actual mission of reconnaissance on the enemy's strength. And the um, additional I... problem is that the kobold saw us uh, kill the rear guard too. So it'd be their word against ours, but they're fucking kobolds. Can we make they're a fine. religion check for the significance on the color of these robes at all? Absolutely. You yeah, you can do that thing. Oh, Does anyone well. have religion? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not trained in it. I actually do. I just got a message saying that I'm not offline. Yep. Yeah, but, it looks like the con uh, they're having problems with their servers, but it's fine okay. as far as uh, um, as just talking goes. talking goes. Yeah. Total okay. of eighteen, Matt, for okay. figuring out these world bitches. That's you know that, um, that in this cult that you've already found out about a little bit, there are five different sects to it. Sex, the well, the red hand, the pale eye, the cobalt claw, the jade fang, and the black wing. You know that the red hand uh, wear red robes, and they like blood a lot, like too much. In fact, uh, very creepishly love blood. The pale eye um, are white uh, robes. Wow. They they Boy. seem to enjoy the moon. Uh, the cobalt claw they wear the, the these deep unnaturally um, purplish um, bluish robes. They like storms and chaos. The jade fang are obviously the green. Um, they are greedy bastards, and the black wing are the most radical of the bunch. Like, like what's Ninja that Turtles mean? radical or like no like uh you know extremist Tiamat. extremist <laughs> type deal. The claw. Yeah, and that's what Kerr was. 
And All right, so we I'm just need to keep it. those traits in mind as we're dressed up as these people. So, to mess you know what? I'll, I'll I'll do that now. If uh, Serena, it, it may not be a, the worst idea in the world. Um, just why don't we cut up some of these cultists? Just drench ourselves a little bit of blood, a little blood on the face, right under the eyes, like the little football mark, something like that. Anything that uh, would kind of kind of help us look a little bit more the part. I would be more more inclined to infiltrate than um, than anything else. I I think we can talk our way through. You're charismatic, right? Well, you there, there is a lot of chaos right now, as we know. Uh, their their leader was defeated in a duel. Um, there there's bound to be just a lot of questions, a lot of chaos in the group. I, I would try and exploit that. Okay, right, let's try and do it. I, I think it's a good plan. Um, I'm going to let you do the talking. If anything, if anyone walks up to me, I'll, the only thing I'm saying is Hail Tiamat. Hail Tiamat is a great line. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and of course you realize that um, the five sects are related to the five um, dragon heads, heads of the Dragon Queen. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a scimitar too from one of these dead guys. Okay. Ooh, like a scimitar. Yeah. I like extra weapons. There's four of them. There's four of you. Well, I figure the scimitar also will help uh, nail the disguise. Yep. We actually haven't seen any caster cultists, have we? No, you haven't. Not All yet. Right. Well, PLI, quarterstaff, maybe makes sense. I don't know. Could work. We'll see. Yeah, based My on the description, uh, they did seem slightly more mystically. All right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take one of the scimitars. I'm not sold on I'm in the use of it. Unfortunately, I, I'd probably take the scimitar and still... Uh, I'll walk with a limp. I... Uh, don't want to part with my quarterstaff. So, uh, all right. We have an I idea of a direction at least to start walking, right? Yes, you absolutely do. All right. Let's, uh, let's start walking. All right. You guys start walking along that way. You realize that it gets less flat around these parts and starts to slope inward a little bit uh, more rock outcroppings um, pretty good defensible um, layout you know good good ambush area and you reach the spot where you think the um, rear guard is anyone want to do perception checks or what are you guys doing yeah yeah I'm sure we yeah I'll perception check it up or actually Brom's already got it you notice that uh, roughly That's twenty not feet. Not as good as me. Oh, yeah, you guys notice <laughs> roughly twenty feet ahead of you, there are figures that look like they're about to spring a trap on you guys. Mm. Now would be a good time to throw out a hail team up. Hail team up, claw. What? What are you guys doing? You know you're not supposed to be in uh, regal gear right now. What color robe is he wearing? He's not wearing a robe. He just said that you, you're not supposed to be wearing your um, your regalian, your your um, silence, your we rope. We celebrate victory. Those four, those four mercenaries that threw us from the city walls are dead now. Ha! Huh. See him up. Resmir, she will not like you disobeying her orders and you being a black cloak of all should know this don't speak to me that way make a uh, is, charisma check this is sure my charisma is terrible but yeah but you know my intensity and scariness yeah. make it with advantage oh. if you want all right Go for it. Safe. 19 <laughs> or zero mm. <laughs> um and Hold, I, I he say, says i say don't you think i would have thought of that Obviously, we're in no predicament to be able to take them alive. They tried to come at us and surprise us. The, the kobolds fled like cowards. Did they now? They 
did. They, they did didn't during your battles in the town? My god, we could barely keep a track of them. My Tiamat. We could barely keep a track of them. <laughs> yes, yes, the kobolds were fairly useless, but they did serve some purpose. What are you so, che checking in so late for, and why are you wearing your robes? You know that... We are that's... celebrating. We are celebrating. You are disobeying direct orders from top, though. You're, you know what? I, I understand. I understand where you're coming we're from. We're not supposed to let anyone know what, se what sex we're, we're um, from or anything like that. Or that we're... Well, the people who did see us are dead and rotting now. So it, it's going to be fine. We'll take our robes off. That, that is, that's okay. But um, as far as why we're late, I just explained, you dumbass. We just got into a battle and we just had to kill a bunch of, uh, a bunch of people. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> just for the recurrent er, just just say your name is oh, uh. Sure. No. Your name's Kassal Er. That's an interesting name. He's hmm. dwarven friend. They've all got interesting. Have you ever heard a dwarf with a half decent name? <laughs> your no, your 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 robe's a little lengthy on you there, dwarf. Why do you judge me? <laughs> Tiamat is all that matters. And for the first time, you actually see something what look like casters. They're not wielding any um, swords or anything like that. They have their hands kind of like this, and they're sitting um, behind some rock outcropping, just kind of looking, overlooking the situation. I just I tell him, I'm sorry, brother. In good faith, we were celebrating. We'll take the robes off now, and we'll be on our way. Hmm. Fair enough. And he kind of gives you all hard glances. All right, and then Casalt will take his robe off. Okay. And pack it he up. doesn't seem Very to badly. recognize any of you. But that's fine. It's yeah. a big group. There's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's a good kind thing. Of a big deal with the cultists. Oh, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold my robe with. Me. Sincere. No, I mean, like, he doesn't seem to recognize you from, like, um, from the town, from the town okay. like, yeah. So I'm going to fold my robe very carefully and, and pray on it and everything like that and pack it up. Okay. Uh, what was the, the chick that, or someone he said a name of? I'm sorry. Um, he said the name of someone there, and I... Res I saw Resmer. Resmer. Mir. Uh, Mir. Resmir, yeah. Now, now, may we pass to report to... Resmir. <laughs> make a uh, make a charisma check, deception check, real quick. Deception, I can do. Ah, oh, actually, it's not as great as I thought. All right. Are you are you daft? You know that Resmir has been gone for a while now. <clears throat> She, I I thought she was. That wasn't the last plans that she was meeting here. I thought we were all meeting up after raiding the town. Well, she she let this. Where you know we're about to pack up. Roll um roll another deception, um check to kind of get your get out of this. No no <laughs> I, I I I knew we were we were packing up here. Um I for some reason she was supposed to be here though. That's what I was told. I was told to report any major events to her and that she would be here. Now, we slaughtered the four heroes of that town, the four that took down, uh, and the, again, I'm sorry, the, the Blue the Drake's Dragon name. Boar's name. The Dragonborn's name. Uh, Cyanrath. Cyanrath? That's yeah. a pretty fucking cool name. The... <laughs> The, the pale and frail elf that had taken him. You know, do you not remember Furlam Mondrath uh, being the one in charge of this encampment until we clean it up and then we head back? Furlam Mondrath was, he was in charge here. Wait, 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 wait. Are <laughs> We came to the southeast, didn't we? Is your friend normally this dense? Yes. 
it's been a, it's been an incredibly Nail long time. <laughs> Under, understand that that we were captured. Deception roll from you, Sarian. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, go, go, deception, power. Uh, with advantage. All right, so a sixteen. Um, you say yes, Hell Tiamat, in such enthusiastic um, bloodlust, I guess, that he believes you, and just, just, just keep going. Just go to camp. Just go. Very well. We shall. Uh, I, I'll take off the robes, though. Uh, fold them up nicely. And uh, kind of suggest everyone doing the same. 